everyone, it's me, Mrs. O'Brien, and I wanted to do a new lesson today on seeds or beans or peas. I have a really cool project to do with you, but I first want to read this book called One Bean by Anne Rockwell and Megan Halsey. Halsey. <laughs> All right, let's read it first, and then I'll tell you what we're going to do. One bean. I had one bean. It was dry and smooth and hard. I put it on a wet paper towel. I covered it with another wet paper towel. Soon its skin had turned all wrinkly. My bean had gotten fatter too. I think it got too fat for its skin because the skin split. This meant it was time to plant my bean. So here's his bean, kind of cracking open. And look, he has soil and she has the little bag. I filled a paper cup with black potting soil and then I laid my fat wrinkly bean in the cup and covered it with the soil. She's watching him. And there's the little cup. I watered it when the soil was dry, even though I couldn't see my bean hidden under the damp black soil. I watched for it every day. And he put it in the window. So now it has soil, and it has water, and it has the sun. And one day, just like in the story of Jack and the Beanstalk, something wonderful happened. A greenish white stalk poked up from the soil. My bean was dangling from the end of it. They look happy, huh? It's pretty exciting when you actually see it happen. Soon two leaves grew on my bean plant. These were shaped like Valentine hearts. More green heart-shaped leaves sprouted. My bean plant grew bigger and bigger. It needed a bigger place to live and grow. You see it growing? And they're in the window looking at it. Hmm, what should they do? I filled a flower pot with potting soil. Very gently, very carefully, I took my one bean with its bright green leaves and roots spreading through black moist soil out of the paper cup. And I planted it in the flower pot where it would stay. They're being really gentle with it. So they started with the very, well, the paper bag with the paper towel, then the little cup, and now the pot. Sunshine shone on it and made my bean plant grow some more. One day, I saw lots of little green bumps on my bean plant. Those little green bumps were buds. The buds burst open and lots of white flowers blossomed among the green, green leaves. Look at all those buds. When the white flowers fell off, tiny, tiny bean pods hung in their place. And before long, there were lots of bean pods growing on my beautiful bean plant. Those tiny bean pods grew bigger. One day I picked one. I split it open and I looked inside and what do you think I saw? I saw some smooth and shiny beans shaped just like the one bean that had started it all. I picked a few pods and ate the beans that grew inside them, and they were very, very good. All right, so what I have to show you, I have this bag of peas. I think there's enough for every one of you to have one. 
So I thought I would do an experiment here at my home and record it for you. And then I'm going to find some beans for you guys to do at your home. I just need to go out and get those. But for now, since I'm home, I wanted to show you what I was going to do. Now, let's see if I can make this go lower. Hmm, can't go that low. Okay. So what we're going to do is take our beans, our peas, and we have paper towel. And I have baggies. And I need a Sharpie, which I'm pretty sure I should have a Sharpie. I have a black marker, maybe a pen. Will work. I have a pen. So in the next video, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to change onto a different computer so you can see what I'm doing. And we're going to plant our little peas in a baggie and hang them in the window. All right. So I'm going to do two things. So right now I'm going to leave you, and I'll be back in a short minute.